Hey there guys, it's your boy Blade here. Oh, that feels so crisp saying that. So anyway, um, I haven't uploaded because my computer is kind of slow right now. I think I might have downloaded a virus and I'm too lazy to go check up on it. So yeah, downloading these clips has become a hassle. Not because of my internet speed, but because my computer is just generally slow. So what I did was I'm getting an Elgato and I'm also upgrading my CPU and probably get some faster RAM. Not really sure on the graphics card though. I mean, I don't really need that, but um, yeah, that's all the important stuff leading up to newer videos. Now, let's just get into this current video. Okay, so are you tired of those pesky ashes and jackals and blackbeards and glasses peeking through that window? Well, so am I! Now, to counter this, all you have to do is just pretend that I'm not an attacker and pretend that you're a defender and pretend that you're also not breaking this window because breaking this window really just destroys the entire purpose because then somebody's going to come up and kill you, which you don't want because this is to counter people trying to kill you. Uh, so you just want to punch open that piece of floor or blow it up if you're kind of not patient. And as you can see, not down there, but up here above this wooden beam, you could see the enemy. Or in my case, my teammate. And you could even shoot them, and usually people always kiss the freaking window like this person is. And yeah, that's that spot. Now this one is something that I see not used enough. Like, they always end up blowing the hatch up instead of this, which is pretty strange. I mean, like, if they have an impact, maybe they could just save it to blow up in the hatch later. If they do need to go down instead, because, I mean, if you die and you blow up in the hatch, you just... A waste of space. Yeah, that's it. Okay, I said it. But, um, next spot. This one is blowing open a hole in the roof. Now, this one is, uh, more useful if the enemies are probably going to be rushing. Because... I mean, if they don't rush and they go through the building thoroughly, then they're probably going to end up killing you up here. So, don't use this one if they're not rushing or pushing faster than usual. <coughs> and, yeah, that's pretty much all that this spot has to offer, or this peak has to offer. Now, there is this little wooden piece there that you could throw stuff into, that you could see through also. And now next segment. Oh, look at this totally realistic gameplay. Oh, pesky Ash is rushing, kid. Counter that rush, that specific rush right there. All you have to do, I mean, it's a very common rush too, so it's pretty good to counter this. But uh, all you have to do is blow this up and look down there and let me ping to cue my teammate to come up here, not suspiciously. And as you see, look, she didn't even see me, not staged in any way. I mean, but if you didn't blow it open like this, and you only blew open half of the area, then they wouldn't see you. But, um, now as you see, we're doing the snowmobile. Da -da -da -da. Ah, yes, you like my effects. So this one, right beside this hand mark, you just want to punch. Oof, and you can see all the way up to the stairs. I don't know if they changed something in this wall, because I've never actually noticed this until I tried it, like, while I was trying to make this video. But I never knew that you could see all the way up to those stairs. And yes, let's get on to the next oh, notification. Let's get on to the next spot. Now this one is more of just a basic one. Just throw an impact at this wall if you want. You don't have to, but I, it's if you want to see ooh, another notification. Yeah, it's just if you want to see. There's a lot of notifications. Okay, as you see, I shot out that piece of wall, throw an impact, or shoot it out, shotgun, beagle, whatever you want. And you could uh, see all the way down to the garage over there yeah that's what it is I guess but barricaded is what I barricaded yeah just recommended now da -da -da -da, special effects library do -do 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 -do. I'm great now you can see that window over there all you have to do is break all these walls or punch a hole in them and if you shoot open the window then you can completely stop them from entering into one window now uh, what you could do is watch that window, you could also watch the ladder over there. Now, here's another part. If you come into this corner right here, I mean, uh, you could sit right here and watch this window also. So you deny two entry, or two points of entry, and uh, three total actually, that is. 
Yeah, and they won't die from the window behind, they may die but from below, but that's about it for that one. Now let's get onto the extra thick bar. This one has a couple. Oh wait, it did have a couple, but not all the game clips went past, or it transferred correctly. So all you do is throw an impact or blow it up or whatever you want to do, and you can see into one window, which will block... Oh, okay. I see how it is. Which will block one area of injury. Okay, I'm getting spammed. Just gonna cancel those. And you could just open the hatch or open here. I recommend you just use the hatch instead because you could drop down. And this hatch being blown open doesn't compromise your team's integrity, I think the word it would be, in any way. But, um, yes, this is the final spot of the video. Now all you have to do is blow open or that, this area, somehow. And yes, that is it for this video. I would kindly like it if you. And drop the like or a dislike based on what you thought of the spots. It, it's always nice to have a little input from the users because uh, these last few videos I've done I've gotten input and I know what to do and what to not do. So yeah, that'll be it for this video. Now, farewell.